back in Legend of Heroes, and off camera I went for some armor upgrades. You can see that I picked up armor vest boots for both of them. I haven't upgraded their weapons because I can't really afford it, but let's go on our monster extermination mission and see what we can get along the way. So I already went ahead and explored over here, and I can give you guys a warning. There is a chest right here that contains a far, far stronger than normal monster encounter in there. If you take that on, you might die at this part, so not advised. But there are two treasure chests over here that you can get, I'll show those. Here's the first one, Tear Ball. The chest is empty, surprised. Not as fun as some of the other ones, clearly. And the other one is up here. And here's the other. The tear bomb. The chest is empty. Haha, <laughs> got you. Don't really get it, but... Apparently you get an achievement for doing all of those, and... At the moment, some of the achievements are bugged, so... Damn it. Some of the achievements are bugged, so... Like, there's one where... An... Damn it. Like, for example, the getting all the recipes achievement is unlocking when people actually get their first recipe, and some may not be unlocking at all. Just a warning for those achievement hunters of you out there. And I'm getting back on the main road to... Damn it. Okay, let's move on. Perzel Farm. so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary either. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us in on the details. I wonder if Tio is home today. So, let's explore a bit. What's in the greenhouse? Nothing. Peek in the other one. has no meaning. Hmm, chickens. Oh, well, Zelda's toss anything, it's not to attack those. There's a human. Joshua, still. I share how you been. Do you know where your mom and dad are? They're not home right now. Tio's outside if you want to talk to her, though. So, who's Tio? Damn it. I want to talk to the other kid. It's Joshua. Did you come to play with me? I wish I had the time, but I'm afraid today I'm here for work. Work? That's no fun if we can't play. Maybe later if there's time. The kids here really like you, Joshua. Okay, let's peek inside. so she must not be too important in the grand scheme of things. Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly, we're here on Bracer business. We heard that you've been having some trouble with monsters. Still and Joshua explain the work. You finished all your training? That's wonderful news. Maybe you can help after all. So, there really are monsters giving you trouble, huh? Regrettably, that's been the case for the past several days now. 
Thanks to which, I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only come out at night. You're very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine you should be back from delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. So, who's here that wasn't here before? They're in the house. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Purzel. How's everyone these how's everyone getting on these days? Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, barging in through the front door without even knocking. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come here to see to you? We were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell the truth, we're here on an errand today from the Bracer Guild. So we hand the referral and start talking. Is that so? Don't you think this job is a little dangerous for just the two of you to handle? I agree. I'd feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. Don't sweat it. We're bracers, after all. Taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized, to car car has even authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Hmm. Alright then. Go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Purzel. And can you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. Okay, it's not the chupacabra I was expecting, but we'll work with it. As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night and raid our fields, knowing on anything they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimble. I've tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights, but to no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures, if you ask me. Since they only appear under the cover of night, we'll have to wait for it to get dark. Then how about taking a load off until then? I assume you'll also be joining us for dinner, right? You said the magic word. You bet I will. I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Mrs. Purzel. I can't wait. You sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time toiling in the kitchen. For that, I'll whip you up something special that'll live up to your expectations. Yourself is beyond me. Why would I? Stella, you're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do our rounds. Alright, I'm coming. I'll be back after Joshua and I get the job done to you. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Alright, be careful out there, Estelle. That girl, she's either completely out of touch with matters of the heart or just plain dense. Poor Joshua, he really has his work cut out for him. Seems as though the monsters always show up around at about this time. We better go outside and take a look around. Hmm. What's going on, Estelle? I've got to ask Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me, do you? Come on now. 
Where are you coming up with this stuff? Since you came to live with us, we've been uh, we've always done everything together, right? Even though we had our fair share of fights, they're all good memories for me now, and... I mean to say is, I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. Estelle. So, if there's ever anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know, about things like... trouble with your love life and whatnot. What are you trying to say? Nothing, I just want to let you know that I'm here to listen if you need someone to talk to. That's all. Let's hurry up and get out there so we can kick some monster butt. Nonsense is Tio putting into that girl's head. Secrets, huh? So, usually after a declaration like that, that would mean one of these two isn't coming back, but we'll see. Wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first, then move on to the fields, stable, and greenhouses? We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. Alright, let's go. So, if there is potential to mess this up, I'm going to go ahead and save right here, and let's try not to blow it. Right. 
jump in here to steal the turn. Let's do this! Or something else. You kids have done a fine job of rounding up these critters. It's nothing really. I wanted to ask you though, now that they're caught, what do you plan on doing with them? So, the feel I'm getting for these is no matter what, you can't kill them. Let's just try this. Now you're giving these critters a good thrashing, I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Estelle, how's that going to benefit anyone if we show these creatures any mercy now? We're here to do a job by exterminating the monsters, remember? But, in any case, we're here to do a job in Dad's place. The same thing happens again, what will you have to say for yourself? I see what you're getting at, but... You know, it was only some vegetables that were damaged, so... What do you think about letting it slide this time? You know, if you're taking a bean like that, I'm sure they learned their lesson. Tio, Mrs. Purzel. But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them, too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is, we're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of those creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these critters just this once? Understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I won't, actual loss, I won't object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know I had you two come all the way up here. I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. Then that's that. Alright, you critters, you better count your blessings. If we catch you around here again, you won't be so lucky. Now scram. Well, I'll consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so we head back to the house and hit the sack. Two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Joshua? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I made the situation really awkward for everyone. Are you talking about what happened back outside? Don't sweat it, I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent is all. Even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. It's at times like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua. Don't you dare say things like that about yourself. Estelle? I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years. I'm confident in saying that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than you yourself. I won't allow you to just disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. I'm sorry, it was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's what really matters. happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? Your real problem, Joshua, is that you're always trying to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Estelle, I... Joshua, you were able to lay bare your own weakness today. You learned to trust in someone other than yourself, and for that, I'm happy. I don't know what your point is, but... 
it means you can just stand there and say something as embarrassing as that. I've got a whole lot more where that came from. How do we call it a night? After all this endless running around, I'm ready to drop. Alright then, have a good night, Estelle. And thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. Sleep tight. So, a happy ending. And I wonder if you guys are actually going to make jokes about the beds there. Thank you both. You all did us a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's ever anything else we can do... If there's <laughs> anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Bracer Guild know. Then I'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for the night again when these when things are convenient for you. I'll treat you some of my best cooking next time you come. Thanks for the invitation to you and Mrs. Purzel. We'll definitely t be back to take you up on that when our workload settles down. Alright, how about we head back to the guild? If we report this one, we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one. real quick is I am intentionally fighting here because I want to replenish the CP I lost from the, the boss battle. Okay, I'm good to go back now. So we'll stick to the road. I'm not going to pick the fight against the monsters in the chest just yet. Let's go report in and see how we did. Good morning, how'd the job at the farm go? Uh, we hit a few bumps in the road, but let me give you a brief report on the details. Joshua gives I know a rundown of, the la of last night's events at the farm. So, just complete, we are now sitting on 10 BP, and we received our payment from the mission 1000 Mira. We now have 13 total BP. Current rank is Junior Bracer, 8th class. I see, so you ended up setting the monsters free because the Purzel family requested you to do so. I think it was premature on their part, but I won't pursue the matter any further. Is it okay to leave things at that? The mission of a Bracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and there are as many forms of justice as there are stars in the heavens. As a Bracer, it's your job to be able to just discern these things. Indeed, our work has very profound implications if you think about it in that way. That's because we aren't an organization that deals strictly with monster problems. We can also intervene when disputes arise between nations. To become a high-ranking bracer, one must have more, more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and flexible problem-solving skills are also required. A sharp mind and problem-solving ability, huh? Serious? The road to the big league sounds a lot steeper than I originally thought. Well then, your only choice is to devote yourself to working hard every day. But since you're both here, why don't I give you the details of your next job? Those are the words I've been waiting to hear. I'm ready for anything, so what, you've, so what have you got lined up for us this time? Another monster that needs a good whipping? Not this time. The next job will entail the transportation of goods. And get this, your client is none other than Mayor Klaus himself. From the mayor? Do you think it'll be alright leaving such an important task up to us? From what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor directly about the job details. And we also have new jobs up here, four of them. So I'm going to do that in the next video. This is as good a place as any to stop, and we'll continue farming BP, among other things, as we go. So I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.